of childhood from Patterson's and Pastimes, and I finally get to check out all the rocks in this jar. Hi, I bought a jewelry jar because it had rocks in it, and actually it's got a really cool shell in it, too. Woo, and all the shell had a pearl in it. You're, you're, I'm nuts today. Okay, so let's just get into part three of this uh, first in my series of BOGO jars from the Salvation Army thrift store. So I just pulled this out because I thought it was, this is a gorgeous shell. Isn't that beautiful? And there was a marble inside of it, so it looked like there was a giant pearl in there. So, okay, marbles are not jewelry. And shells are not jewelry. But, hey, this is a gorgeous shell. Like, I'm just amazed if, if it's been, I don't know, if it doesn't feel like it's been, you know, um, carved off. Like, I mean, the fact that the pearl, the mother of pearl is showing through like that, that seems like feature of the shell and it whatever it was grew to a good size cool and these look like just like an ammonite has sutures these look like the sutures of how the shell grew I'm so uh, so interested in things that's pretty pretty that is really pretty okay nice way to start mm. well before we get to the rocks let's pull out some of this other stuff that's in there. Still a few things in, oh, there's really, now this is really a rock. I wonder, is it, I wonder what kind of a rock it is. It looks like some type of quartz and it's got this whitish coating on it. I wonder if this is, is somebody's rock collection. Cool, anyway. Oh, there's another rock fell out. Um, Let's do the, the non-rocky things. All right. And we'll go from there. Okay. So, um, there's, the, here's some jewelry on a card. Oh. Hitchhiker earrings. So these are Reitman's earrings. Reitman's is a, a ladies clothing store, RW Co. here in uh, Canada. They were $7 and then marked down to $6.99. <laughs> okay, I guess that wasn't much of a sale. But those are cute little uh, chandelier earrings. I would say that the way they're on the tag, the card here, they're new on card. So I can, I think I might donate those. Um, or put them in a jewelry lot of, you know, holiday jewelry, because that would be nice with some sparkly holiday jewelry. Um, there's some single earrings here. I'm going to take this thing out of the bag. See what it is. Okay, it looks like the kind of thing you would, it's supposed to hold something or hook onto something and then have a, uh, something else hooked on it, <laughs> so that's such a dumb, a dumb explanation, I'm sorry, but it looks like it fits over a button or something on a like on a belt and then you have your keys or something special on here that goes in your pocket um, uh, I don't you don't see many women wearing them but sometimes you see like custodians and security people have something like that for keys or stuff or ba ID badges I don't know if you know if you know let me know and I'll know too um, opening these little bags takes a tiny bit of extra time. <laughs> well, this is a cute piece of shell. Really pretty brown shell. That is sweet. Doesn't look worn at all. Just got some wooden and plastic beads there. And, uh, nice little 
um, I think it's waxed linen cord and a clasp. That's cute. All right, that'll go in the, I'm going to, what I call it, the teen, the young people's jewelry. Let's see. Quite a variety of sort of ages of jewelry in this jar, um, which I think is um, a little more unusual. There's an evil eye bracelet, stretchy bracelet, uh, cold. Those are uh, obviously faux turquoise, like they're glass with the coating on it to make it look like how light or turquoise. Nice colors, nice bright colors to wear. There's another, ooh, this is heavy and jingly. Handmade, it says. And then this is a little bell, a little star, a little bell. Um, what is it? A dolphin, another bell, and another star. Nice. Nice weight, nice sound. If you didn't like the bells, you could always take them off and just have, you know, every other um, spot would have a dangle or replace them with a different kind of dangle. But uh, that's very nice. Nice weight, glass, you know, glass beads, nice, nice spacers. And it's got a lovely little handmade tag on it. Oh, very nice. This is probably handmade. It's uh, clay. Looks like it was fired in a, a fire pit. Um, just, you know, regular brown clay and then it gets um the different colors on it from how it was fired or baked as and uh nice beads a lot of work to make these beads and fire them and string them so uh i don't know i it not it's not something i would wear um but It might be to other people's tastes, especially if you're into sort of natural elements, like the natural fired clay. So beautiful, it's beautiful on its own, just to look at. I, I and it would be nice. I could see, you know, a type of winter jewelry, um, on a black sweater, on a rust-colored sweater. Um, I don't know why I'm thinking of how the, to wear jewelry these days, but I am. That's just, just kind of the point I am in life. Now, what is this? This is, this belong, used, this used to belong to Andy B. And whatever it is, he's missing an arm. The arm's gone. And it's a keychain. All right, well, I guess the ring can be repurposed. Poor little guy, he needs a, a decent goodbye. Goodbye, guy. And uh, what else have we got here? Oh, uh, a seashell necklace. I'm not going to take it out of the, uh, the package. Is it done with the macrame like that other one that we had in the earlier part of the jar? Mm, not quite, but I think we've all seen enough of those shell necklaces. I'm not really a fan. This is kind of cute. Look at this. It's sparkly. It's a little, it's hard to tell if that's discolored. It kind of looks yellowy in there in some spots instead of being silver where, or silver tone where it should be. I'm going to just look at the back. I don't see anything in the bale. Yeah, right in there it looks kind of like it's stained, like it should be washed or cleaned. Oh, well look at that. 
I kind of wondered. It says 925. Right there. You can see it too. And then there's an A. So let's look at the chain. Chain says uh, the, the spring rings marked as well. And so is that. What, and we've got the, the diamond with the letters in it. And it says made in Italy. Oh, very nice. Well, hey. For what I paid for the jar, I could have, I could not have bought a necklace like that. I will clean that up. I know a special girl who has Christmas coming up, and she would love to wear that, especially having a silver necklace. Don't tell her. And I got distracted. Sorry. Um, two pairs of earrings. Little, like, little paddle earrings. In excellent shape, very wearable. Probably stainless steel or... Yeah, they're, they're a nice color. They, they don't... They're, they're a little heavier than, than the artisan, you know, the artisan ones that you usually see from India. And then there's this pair of earrings with the, is that a hammered disc? Yeah, it's hammered on one side and smooth on the other side. Cute little pink bead to kind of highlight them on that little swirl. Those are very nice, the two, pe the, the different colors of hammered metal. I would even wear those. I would, I shouldn't say even, I would wear those. Those are really cool. Very nice. And and not heavy. They're nice. They're but not not flimsy. Okay, so I'm gonna move these treasures up here because the rocks are gonna come out. I think I'm gonna put something on my desk here for the the rocks. Um I'm just gonna Oh, it's rocks and marbles and oh my gosh. All right. Oh, and sand. I wonder if this stuff was already in the bottom of the jar when it was donated. Okay. Well, let's go with these. Uh, let's go with the plastic bits first. I'm surprised some of this stuff didn't damage other stuff. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's rings and things and crystals and okay, so this is a pirate's treasure. Okay, well we'll have to find some kids who need pirate's treasure. Made in China. Get lucky. Okay, these are obviously are for uh St. Patrick's Day. Either somebody got really lucky or they just they didn't get lucky and those are left over, but those will be those are cool little play toys for kitties. Little kitties. I'm gonna put them in a the bag. <clears throat> These are finger lights. You put them on your finger <laughs> and you turn them off and on. I don't obviously the batteries are are not functional, but there's a uh, one, two, three, four of them here so uh, I don't know if the batteries are replaceable they're right there they're just a little button battery I don't think any of them work I don't that one doesn't work <laughs> that's kind of a stupid thing to be doing this one's missing its uh, elastic I remember my mother-in-law bought some of these for the grandkids at one point so that might just need to go in the um, electronics recycling though I suppose if the you know the bulbs and the circuitry are good they could be repurposed in a, a school project now let's see oh here's the other one of these so there were three pairs of earrings in the jar these ones are shell 
sort of bluish on one side and I don't know if they dye that to make it or if that's a natural color because it's kind of a a gray on the other side that's really the really pretty color nice little earrings <clears throat> a ring an owl ring an adjustable owl ring isn't he cute okay there's another thing for the kids jewelry here's an interesting brooch is it I don't, I'm trying to see if it Oh no, there it goes. I just I couldn't see the excuse me while I fumble with the clasp. So this is um I'm sure a modern brooch, but quite lovely. That's cute. That's really cute. It's got a heart, kind of like a fan shape, and another Oh, it's missing a little pearl. Well, I can repair that. And then the two little black beads, faceted beads. So I'm going to repair that, and then I'm going to donate that for the uh, long-term care home sales. So I'll put that in a little bag for repair. Here's a spinner ring. I'm not sure if they call it a fidget ring. It... There we go. Just spins. I guess I got it on upside down. I don't know what a little cross and heart. So about a seven and a half. Size. Well, it says size nine. Well, I know that I am a seven and a half. So I haven't my 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 ring size, unless it's really a really small size nine where did I see that and it can't be size six because the way the wording is yeah okay I don't have a mandrel to check that but that's an excellent shape hmm might say that see if my grandson would wear something like that I have no idea I don't know what this is but it's I don't recognize it as any piece of jewelry do you <laughs> I have this guy I, put, I left off to the side because he came out with the, some of the jewels and I don't want him to get wrecked up. He's um, carved, a carved turtle, and obviously the shell's been dyed um, to uh, for a particular country where we, he was probably sold. Uh, there's no name on it. I'm wondering if the, the color could come off that because he'd be really nice if he didn't have the the dyed shell. So there's a project for me. Maybe I'll try some rubbing alcohol actually on that. If I do, I'll come back and tell you. But he, my daughter has a little turtle collection, so if I can I might give it to her even if I don't get the color off. And now I'm going to pull up a bag here because there's a whole bunch of marbles um, or you know, these glass balls that you put in, well, some of them are marbles. These little guys are those glass balls you, you put in um, vases. Alrighty. There's only four of those. Well, maybe I'll put them, all those kind of things together. And then there's a cup, one like this with a pattern on it. And then some like these. These are marbles. Some of them are nice marbles, like I, you know, premium marbles that I would have loved to have had as a kid growing up. Did you ever play marbles or alleys where you you shot towards a, a hole or a, you shot with your thumb and toward a hole or a that's a tiny one. Um, uh, some kind of a finish line and then you try to, to knock the other alleys out of the way and this is a great big huge one I didn't even notice that I thought it was a rock okay I think that's it for the you know the marbles glass balls kind of stuff 
Here's some crystals. This one's broken. Aww. So this was a nice long one, but it's broken. Here's a another piece. This was obviously glued to something. So these are just these are these are quartz crystals. Is that another crystal? Yeah. So they can um, they can be made into jewelry. All right. So quartz crystals. Um, that looks like amethyst. I don't know what this... Oh, these feel like plastic. Yeah. <laughs> the, I wonder if these are glow-in-the-dark. These are, are... Yeah. Those are plastic. But they might be glow-in-the-dark. I'll, I'll have to uh, report back on that. <clears throat> Here's a oh a 2016 Terry Fox run sticker. Alrighty. In terms of dyed rocks, oh, here's that big googly eye. I have there. Yeah, you could make it into a one-eyed monster. I was trying to sort these, wasn't I? I'm going to try to sort them by color. I'm not sure if that's really totally relevant here, but... Okay, so this looks like a piece of jasper that's been polished. That's one thing I can tell. Um, I would probably say that this is, again, dyed quartz. I think a lot of these might be dyed quartz. I mean, yeah. How many of these are? Okay, I washed them and I'm back and I'm pretty sure that these are amethyst. This one they would call more dog tooth amethyst because of all the white in there. But I got all that other stuff washed off them. Look at this one's really nice dark purple. And this one's got a little bit of other rock that it was attached to. Certainly not amethyst crystals, but really pretty rocks. So I might be able to do some rock tumbling with these different pieces and see what I get or make some interesting jewelry with them. I'll have to ask Santa for a gem tester for Christmas so I can test all these, except they'll probably all come up and say they're quartz, so it was, <laughs> wasn't really worth my trouble. You know what, I bet this one I once washed will be uh, another one of these amethyst pieces as well. So, well, it was an interesting time. I love this shell. It's beautiful. It's not jewelry, but it's still beautiful. It's, it's, it's jewelry worthy. Um, I love this silver. What a bonus, getting a silver necklace, sterling necklace, and the spinner ring, and these bracelets, and uh, so many other things that I can uh, donate or pass on or reuse. Thanks for joining me. Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. I hope you enjoyed this jar. This is number one of four buy one, get one jars. So that'll take me a little while to get through all of them. Um, and I uh, hope you're having a great December. And we'll uh, see you soon. Bye for now.